The ball is thrown vertically upwards from ground level at 12 metres per second. A girl leans out of the window 5 metres high from the ground and catches the ball on the way down. What was the time of the flight of the ball? Calculate the total distance the ball travels before the ball is caught. Okay, obviously what we do, we draw a diagram, but I'm just going to go to this GeoGebra app, which I will include with the notes of the video. So we have a ball here, it's going to be thrown upwards. The initial velocity is 12 metres per second, and we've got gravity acting down against it, so its displacement at this time is zero. And so what we need to do is to form this equation in T, and find the two values, there will be two values of t. So if I just do the animation, the ball will go up, there'll be one value of t there, and then the ball will get to vertical height where v will be equal to zero and it will come back down and the lady will catch the ball. Okay, so at this particular point here, there'll be the same value of t. One will be about 1.92, and the other will be when S is 5 on the way upwards, which is around there somewhere. It'd be very difficult to get it exactly. To be about, I'll get it exact. There. Okay, so there'll be one time up, we'll get two values from our equation, one there, and then one where it finally, we finally catches the ball on the way down. Okay, going back to the math, so if you were doing this in an exam, you draw a diagram, maybe not as... Okay, so you have a ball, initial velocity 12 metres per second, G acting downwards, this is five meters and here is the girl catching the ball. Okay, so if we use S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, then S will be 12 T minus because gravity is acting downwards, half 9.8 T squared. And that simplifies uh, to 12 T minus 4.9 T squared. Now we want to know the time when the displacement is five, but we'll get two values of T I can say one when it goes up and then one when it goes down. So putting that equal to five and then solving it, so make it into a quadratic equation, 4.9t squared minus 12t plus five is equal to zero. Now you could use the formula or in an A-level exam now, you can use the uh, graphics calculator and you would get that t is equal to 0 0.532 or t is equal to one point. 916 so this one is the one where it goes up but this is the one that we actually want where it's going down so this is the time on the way up but we want to know the time on the way down so rounding off to um two three significant figures that would be 1.92 seconds right to calculate the total distance Okay, there's our diagram. So let's just go back to this applet again and just reset it. Right, so to calculate the total distance, okay, we need to find the time for how far it goes up. So we need to find the greatest height. All right, and that happens when V is equal to zero. If I just slow that down a bit, down back to here, it won't, we won't be able to get exactly zero, but at about 1.2. Two, you can see here the velocity is very very small and then at just slightly past that it will become negative because gravity starts uh, pushing the ball down and so we need to find when v is equal to zero using v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 as and then we need to find this distance and we, once we found this distance actually all we need to do is subtract 5 from it uh, to get the uh, distance that it goes down. Okay, so using the diagram, so at uh, the greatest height, v will be equal to zero. So using v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. Zero squared will be equal to the initial velocity 12 squared plus 2 times minus 9.8s. 
So we're going to have minus 144 when we square 12 and take it over to this side. And we've got minus 19.62 times minus 9.8. When we divide one by the other, the minus signs cancel out. So S will be 144 divided by 19.6. And that will give me that the greatest height of the ball will be 7.3469. So that distance there. But we want this bit as well when it goes back down because we want the total distance travelled by the ball. So the total distance will be equal to 7.3469 plus that number again, take away 5, and that will give me this bit here. So what I've done is I've got the greatest height, take away 5, the greatest height, take away 5, and that will give me 9.6938, which to three significant figures is 9.69 metres. Okay, so this has been a video to show you uh, how to find the time when a girl catches the ball on the way down and the total distance travelled by the ball. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching. And I'll just repeat, the GeoGebra app will be in the notes of the video.